I share with you today a peat, or a peatotonia, if you will, or a peat peat, or a peatonia. She's not particularly pleased with being shared today, but I share her anyway. Here's sleepy Pete. Mm -hmm. I woke up to Peter mm -hmm. just for to say hello, Peter. Hello, friend. Okay. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Happy Halloween. So, I have a couple things for you today. First thing that I have is a Halloween wreath DIY. Just made out of a couple things that I had lying around the house and maybe a couple of things that I ordered off of Amazon. Little things, this was a super cheap, super quick, very easy Halloween DIY wreath. I'll share that with you here in just a second. The second thing that I wanted to tell you about is the second piece of our giveaway series. We call it a Halloween giveaway series. I'm not entirely sure what we're calling it, but we're giving some stuff away. I'm not gonna tell you what this piece is yet. You're gonna have to wait until the end of the video, but I promise you're gonna love it. Plus there's other giveaways coming up, so you can't beat it, right? Without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you to the 2020 DIY Halloween wreath. Hey everyone. So um, let me go ahead and tell you what some of these items are that we used in order to make this wreath. One of them is the grapevine wreath itself that we found on the side of the road. Um, I can thank my wonderful partner, Maddie, for finding that for me. It was fantastic. Found it in the middle of the night and uh, snuck away uh, back to make this wreath. Um, also, the orange fairy lights were from Amazon. I think they were they were relatively cheap. They were less than five or six dollars. I can link those down in the description for you below. The 31 sign that you see in the top corner over there is from Target. There are spiders on the right. Those are from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. Then there's also some spider web that we're going to use on this wreath and some floral, both of which I had gotten from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. Uh, you'll also need a wreath hanger too in order to hang this wreath as well as a sign that's going to go with it. So starting off, we wrap the lights pretty evenly around the wreath. Um, ultimately, I'm going to end up tucking that battery pack into the back of this grapevine wreath. It has a wire wreath frame that kind of goes with it. That's how they make these things. And the battery pack ended up tucking right in. It wasn't a problem at all. Um, the goal here is to make sure that when you wrap these lights, that you wrap them evenly. Um, you could probably wrap them all willy-nilly. That's the cool thing about them. They are wire lights. Uh, so long as, you know, you kind of wrap it around the little 20 pieces of the grapevine wreath, you should be just fine. But still, um, my preference was to do them relatively evenly. Then once the lights were on, I started kind of dispersing these spider webs. I've never been a big fan of fake spider webs. Uh, they kind of get everywhere. They're not so great for the environment. Um, but, you know, I had a little bit left. I was trying to figure out how I could use them and figured that this was probably going to be the best way to do so. I didn't use a ton. I actually cut some in half and then just tried to pull it apart as much as I possibly could. Kept it thin, kind of gave it that traditional uh, spider web vibe as we were going through. I did do it on both sides of the wreath kind of to mask the back a little bit too. You can see right there where the battery pack is for the light. But yeah, I didn't have to use any adhesive or anything like that to put the spider webs on. It kind of sticks to the grapevine wreath that's the best part about the wreath speaking of which you can always just spray paint this wreath black or silver or gold or red or whatever color you want if you aren't into that natural color spray paint takes to these grapevine wreaths extremely well so you should be good to go if that was something you wanted to do um, I chose to keep it natural uh, but we should be you know ready to go here in a second as far as all of this um all of these spider webs. I mean, it's a lot, but I think we got it. I think we're getting close. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take a look at where I need that sign to sit within the middle of this wreath so that it's even. 
I think I also was just trying to determine exactly where I wanted to put some of the uh, floral pieces that I have. I didn't take, I didn't do any roses. I did some of the like spindly pieces and some leaves, um, all kind of like black or, or um, orange. You could go more natural if you want to, but I definitely wanted to give the Halloween vibe. As you can tell, I needed to tighten up the ribbon on the sign. So tightened it up made sure it was going to sit where I needed it to sit and could move forward. So here I am just tacking these floral pieces into the grapevine wreath. I didn't have to use glue or adhesive or anything like that in the making of this wreath. All of this stuff will stick right into the grapevine wreath and it'll hold onto it. It's pretty neat. You can pull pieces out, you can put pieces in, you can figure out what's working for you, what's not. My goal here was to kind of have the same movement as the side of the wreath as I was creating um, as I was putting all of these pieces in. So, um, some of these have like little baubles and like feathers in them. Um, none of it looks like actual real floral. It's just kind of this, uh, funky, cool stuff that I found over at Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And I just keep reusing it as I see it. So, um, like I said, it is all just kind of within the shape of the wreath as I go. Uh, then here are the spiders. These were also really simple. You could just tuck them right on in and they stay. It, you don't have to use adhesive to put any of this stuff on this wreath. That is the best part about the grapevine wreath in my opinion. Here we go. I think we are just about done. And that there you have it, my friends. Take a look at that. Hey, we're back. Cool. Now, for the giveaway goodies, let me go ahead and just grab it. It's right here. Our neat little piece. Ta-da! Giveaway number two. The Spirit Candle from the John Darien for Threshold Collection at Target. Um, the Spirit Candle is a pine smoked cedar scent. It is phenomenal. It smells like you just got lost in the woods and you're not terrified yet. And the best part about the spirit candle is the fact that it will last you through Christmas. So, I mean, you've got spirit, Halloween, Thanksgiving spirit. Is that a thing? But you definitely have the Christmas spirit. It smells wonderful. It was my favorite of the three scents. I think there's three scents. It was potion, spirit, and then... One other one that I cannot remember the name of for the life of me right now. Let me tell you how to win this candle. All I need you to do is in the comments, tell me what your favorite Halloween candy is. Is it candy corn? Is it pumpkins? Are they the witch's brew Kit Kats that I also love? Are they Kinder Eggs with treats inside, which I also love? You could also tell me how much you hate candy corn or how much you wish you loved candy corn, but hate it because it's still kind of gross like I do. Either way, let me know what your favorite candy is, because that's going to get you an entry into winning this giveaway. If you want an extra entry, go follow me on Instagram. Go tell me what your favorite candy is on Instagram. Tag your friends. Every friend tagged is another entry. Easy, right? Cool. Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I had a great time. I hope that you had a great time. And we'll see you next time. Bye.